Tom Nappy here, and I am joined by Louise Coleman, formerly a Greyhound Friends. Louise, you have a uh, new book out. I do. It's called Boston Boy, A Greyhound Journey. Can you talk about your new book for sure, us? Sure, of course. Uh, Boston Boy was the name of the first Greyhound that I adopted in 1983 on Mother's Day. He had been a real champ. He was five years old. He was at Wonderland. And uh, back in 1983, there really wasn't much Greyhound adoption. So um, I heard about him. I went out with my son, Nolan, in our Pinto, picked him up. Um, Boston Boy took up the whole back seat um, and stood up the whole way. But um, he turned, he was a great dog, and uh, the guy who gave him to me kept calling to see if I wanted another one and another one and another one. And we lived in a little apartment in Harvard Square. So um, I just realized that, you know, what wonderful dogs that they really needed uh, promoting and adopting and help. So um, I started Greyhound Friends. And uh, how long did it take you to work on this book? Uh, well, I've had some spare time for a change. Um, that was one of the uh, positives out of all this. Um, uh, maybe six months. It's uh, some of what I used was for our newsletters, uh, Great Home Friends' new newsletters for a long time, and the Get Set marketing people in Springfield did our newsletters for a long time, and so they also printed the book. All right, and uh, there's a lot of history about just your work in general. Great. Well, there is. There's a lot of history about what, what I've done. But one of the other things I really tried to do is have it be comprehensive. Uh, there's a lot about Hopkinton in the book. There's a lot about the land that Greyhound Francis Cannell is on. is a very historical piece of property. The uh, architect who built the little the stone buildings was Royal Barry Wills, a very famous Boston architect. And uh, it's... Uh, it's, it's just a very historical property and uh, I think deserves consideration just in terms of what, uh, what it means to the town or what it should mean to the town. All right, and uh, switching gears a little bit. Uh, now you were recently on trial and you were found innocent. And uh, at your trial, Judge David Kuhn has found you not guilty of animal cruelty. Uh, since then, you have still faced opposition and Greyhound Friends reached an agreement with the Attorney General's office that you are no longer to be involved with the organization. Uh, it's clearly been a tough road for you. After all this, I want to give you an opportunity to speak to the people who have supported you and also those who have opposed you and tell them anything that you would like them to know. Well, I think one of the most important things out of all of this is that um, it, it seems really really unfortunate to me that um, the Greyhound Friends has been closed since January 2017, that uh, Greyhound Friends could easily have placed 300, 350 dogs, that, that the dogs have suffered for that. And also that um, Greyhound Friends is both a, a local and a global organization, and because of all of this distraction, we haven't had time to do the international work so that, uh, again, the dogs have suffered because of that. Um, it, it, it generally has seemed to me to be uh, a, a, something that, that really should never have happened, that if uh, people had had problems with me or problems with Greyhound Friends, that they could have talked it over, that uh, the fact that there was a, a, a four-day bench trial I mean, how much does that run? I mean, how much did that cost the taxpayers? I mean, it just seems way blown out of a proportion and, uh, and really damaging. I mean, the Greyhound Friends Insurance Company has spent a quarter of a million dollars. It's, and again, the, the biggest loser in all of this has been the dogs, that uh, the tracks in Florida are closing, that uh, Greyhounds get on uh, the plane in Miami and they get off in Buenos Aires. Uh, it's it's just this has just been a real distraction, and um, I I think it's um, something that really shouldn't have happened. 